Are we under attack? Quiet, quiet. What the hell was that? Okay, all right, thank you. Scout Luna. Oh, I, I just called daycare, everyone's fine. Scout barely woke up. Are you okay? Yeah, what was that? I don't know, I hope it doesn't happen again. Hunt wants everyone in the ER. Have we heard what happened? So I'm trying to call Ben, but he's not picking up. We need to activate mass casualty protocol. We don't know what happened yet. It felt like a bomb. We need to start setting up beds and make sure we have enough blood. Schmidt, grab another resident, prep the trauma rooms, cancel elective surgeries, and tell the ORs to be on standby. Private corporal, help us set up a triage station outside ASAP. Yes, sir. Owen, oh, they're not medical personnel. They're patients, and they're not in 100% health. But they're also soldiers who train for these kind of events. In a few minutes, we're going to be flooded with mass trauma. We need all the help we can get. It was a pipeline explosion. He's still not answering. No siren, no rush. There's a dead person in there. Gibson! Gibson! Ben! Dean Miller. Here, I need to tell her. Um, she's uh, just getting tests, but I don't know that we should drop this kind of news. Yeah, I'd rather just get it over with now. She, she really, she hates it when people keep stuff from her. So I'll take you. Okay. Okay, so you need to change the depth when you're in subcostal view. That's it. No crap. You just made me forget where I was. It's okay to ask for help. I don't need help. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm not freaked out at all. You're the intern that brought me flowers when my fiance died. Yes, but now I'm a senior resident and chief of trauma for the month. So. Ooh, which is still just a residence. I'm not seeing any free fluid or pericardial effusion. 